Hey everyone, welcome back to SST with me, Paul. And boy, have I been busy. I have searched out audio tapes from the pilot's interview regarding the UFO on the plane landing in Portland. Listen to this audio. Unusual night for you and for me. I've never, uh, in all my years of flying jets, which is coming up on 30 years, I've never had anybody y'all weren't talking to. Yeah, really strange. We weren't painting them on radar or anything either. So, um, and did they scramble? Did uh, did y'all have time to scramble anybody to go take a beat? Yeah. Find out what happens in that interview right here on SST. Also in this week's news roundup, a UFO flying over the moon. And then an amazing sighting, a scary sighting, what looks like a complete UFO invasion over a town in the US. Let's start with this extraordinary footage coming out of the U.S. Weird. I can't even get it on my fucking camera. It's like a stuff. Oh my god, I can see a little bit. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to get that close. Three. Oh shit. You think that's corny? Chinese pattern? Oh my god, that's scary. Oh my god, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna get behind you guys. Hold on, hold on. I can't really. Yeah. The, is that it? Wait, hold on. Oh, there's lots of them in the way there. Oh, in the corner. Oh my god, okay, I see something. Oh my god, I never seen something like that before. You see the hell of the spaceship on the side? So, what's the name? Oh my god, what's that UFO? You think that's UFO? Oh my god, that's sick! I thought it was so lucky! Oh my god! I wanna get close! I wanna get close right there! Oh shit, let me get right here! Oh my, I don't know! I don't know, let me see! Oh my god, look at that! Oh, look at them there! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's crazy! Hold, I can't, oh my god, my camera's not really that good. It's orange, it's orange. Oh my god. Boom, and it's gone. What is happening here? Let's take it back right to this moment where this object seems to descend and collect the one orb, the one ship, whatever this is, that's left and then disappears okay here we are we're right at the part where this thing disappears and i've slowed it down and just before it leaves it does this pulsating action and then departs so we're on an ultra slow mode right here so we can watch second by second frame by frame when this thing departs the area after dropping five orbs going down picking one up at this point it just disappears and to me when you slow it down it doesn't just disappear look it traveled away what is this listening to those people's reactions and the fears i don't think you can make stuff like this up imagine if you were there how you would feel on the 3rd of march it was a full moon and many people went outside and there's been a lot of sightings of what you're about to see right now. Lots of videos, lots of footage. What do you guys think this is? What 
What is the subject, guys? What do you think it is? I'd love to find out what you believe it is. It doesn't look like it's an aircraft shape in any way, shape, or form to me. Just floating across the moon. Look at this thing. It's anomaly almost. Almost on the moon. I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. But right now we're going to move to the moment you have all been waiting for. Okay, here it is. And this sends chills down my spine. This pilot, in fact, captain of Southwest 4712, calls into Seattle Center to talk about the incident that's just happened in the skies above. He's a pilot coming up to 30 years. He says he's never seen or had an incident like this in all that time of flying. What's interesting is the pilot wants to know if they've scrambled military and then asks, what did they see? You take from that what you'd like. But what I take from that is that this was no airplane in the skies. This was something else. Listen to this interview. Seattle, Seattle Center Operation. This is uh, Captain on uh, 4712 Southwest Flight. Hey, I appreciate you giving me a call back. Yeah, hey, you bet, man. So, a bit of an unusual night here hey, for us. Yeah, I know. Hey, can I hang on for one second, if you don't mind? Yeah. You can start thinking more on that one. I'm in the middle of this one. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I had to get out of this noisy area here. Um. So yeah, un un unusual night for you and for me. I've never, uh, in all my years of flying jets, which is coming up on 30 years, I've never had anybody y'all weren't talking to. Yeah, really strange. We weren't painting them on radar or anything either. So, um, right. so what I'm what I'm asking you to do, if you wouldn't mind, is if you wouldn't mind sending us an email, kind of describing sure. what you saw. Um, position, description, altitude, any kind of any details you can provide us for about how long you saw it and all of that, that would be perfect. Okay. And I'm going to give you a couple of email addresses. If you want to do an ASAP, that's fine, but this is something separate on the side. Right. Um, that would be really helpful. Okay. We're trying to piece can, all this together. Can you send me, uh, if I give you my email address, can you send me the uh, who you wanted me to send them to? Sure. Um, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's at yeah. Okay. Did, uh, did y'all have time to scramble anybody to go take a beat? Yeah. Oh. Yep. And can you, can you share any of those details? Well, the the issue was that by the time we got there, you guys were already descending. So, um, you know, now now we we don't know what we're looking for with the fighters, right? So, um, yeah, but we oh. did we did, but we we um, you know they didn't. Uh see what we were looking at because uh, you know no. you, uh, there was a united flight and a sky west flight that saw them too right yep and i've already talked to those pilots oh, so did? they're doing okay. the same thing as you guys and just sending some details you know it, it, and that's crazy because you know if it was like um a lear type airframe probably would not have seen it this clear this was a white airplane and it was it was big and, and it was moving at a clip too because uh, you know, we were keeping pace with it. It was probably, it was probably moving a little faster than we were, but we weren't converging with them, so it was kind of moving away. But man, we watched them. So it was a larger aircraft then. It was a larger aircraft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any yeah. of those specifics and details that you can share yeah. would be great. Yeah, and I would say the closest we got when we first, when the control Oakland uh, gave us the first call, he said, "Hey, we had somebody come up at thirty-seven thousand feet." At your one o'clock and converging, and uh, he goes, but he's not on my radar anymore. I, you know, I just can you take a look out there? And we're like, yeah, we see him. He's like, you see something? And then that's when it kind of started. You know, we're not talking to him. We don't know who he is. 
Right. And uh, and then we watched them. I mean, from Northern California, Oakland Center, all the way till you know the descent. So we got probably a good fifteen fifteen minutes or so. But um, anyway, yeah, I'll put it all together and uh, respond to those emails that you sent me. And uh, I would, I would, yeah, I'd love to love to know what that was all about. So. Yeah. Okay. I'll send you an email here in just a couple minutes with uh, okay. the email address to send them to. Okay. So appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, what's your time frame on getting this back? We have a pretty short overnight, and I'd like to put some thought into it with my FO. Yeah, I mean, just probably just sooner than later, but, I mean, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, um, super lengthy. I mean, obviously, yeah. the, the more you have, the better, but, you know, we don't want to. We don't want days to go by for sure. No, I mean I'll get it to you tomorrow. Okay. But I just want to. Uh, my my first officer is not coming down for dinner. But you know I want to. I want to put something together at night. Have him just review it. Just make sure we're we're both on the same page. And then uh, I'll, okay. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be great with the call sign and yep. and the time and where you're going and you know all the other specifics you shared with me. That'd be great. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, man. All right take yeah, care. Yeah. Glad Bye. to help. See you. Wow, what a call. Did you guys catch the bits that I did? This pilot didn't see a plane in the sky. This is absolutely something else. Let's not forget what happens to pilots when they report UFOs. Let's go back to Captain Terry Hucci on the Japan Airlines flight over Alaska. When he reported the UFO outside his cockpit that was tracked on radar, he was placed on administrative duties and he didn't fly till years and years and years later. So if I was a pilot, I don't know if I would say that it was a UFO either, but really this is one for you to make your minds upon. This is a powerful witness statement and you can tell the interest of the pilot in regards to what this object was. You can hear in question, did they scramble jets? Did they see anything? This was strange. I'd like to know more. If it was just a plane in the sky, would you be that interested? I don't know. But I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. This is Paul from SST signing off. And I'll be back with you guys really soon.